Imagine this. You're five or six years old, your mom has just dressed you, and you're about to go to the movies today. It's for this new movie called Toy Story. Well, for your mom, this is just a way for you to be distracted for an hour and a half while you sit there idly in the dark. It's different for you. For you, it's something that will capture you and continue to influence you as you grow older while eventually handing these same memories to your own children in the future. This is a reality that many children have experienced across the world since Pixar created their first movie, Toy Story, in 1995. Pixar pioneered and then subsequently evolved a brand new way of storytelling that would capture the imaginations of children while simultaneously keeping it interesting for the adults who take their children to view these amazing stories in person. Except for Cars 2, we don't talk about that. With that said, almost all of their films have been amazing works of art that truly defined what modern animation is and what it continues to be. This led to Pixar often being the pinnacle of what animation studios strive to be, while also making some certain enemies along the way. Pixar, as a studio, has always been influenced to create an amazing story. We know this because they've done things like throw away an entire cut of Toy Story 2 when they were only nine months away from distribution because they didn't like the original cut of the movie. I'm creating this series as a way to explore an animation studio that originally inspired me to draw and even want to become an animator even if I decided to go down a different path towards psychology. Even now Pixar influences my studies and my outlook on life with movies such as Inside Out. For now this will be a small retrospective on how each film had its own impact on my life and in the end I'll rank each movie in my own list. The rest of this episode will consist of an introduction to the series and why Pixar is an amazing studio that defined animation. If it wasn't apparent, Toy Story was the first Pixar movie I'd ever seen. It inspired a creativity and a sense of curiosity in me. This then eventually grew into a love for a sequel and Finding Nemo and eventually leading to Ratatouille and Wally. These art-filled movies that gave me a sense of adventure and wonder like I was actually interacting with these characters, entering these worlds and exploring people, animals, and even cars to the point of them feeling like my actual friends. To conclude the video, I want to give my top 3 Pixar movies before even trying to do anything in my list. For now, my number 3 spot is Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 was my childhood movie. I endlessly binged it like my brothers would binge Monsters, Inc. It was a perfect emotional follow-up but perfectly exploring the further relationship between Woody and Buzz and exploring the conflict of Woody realizing that he's actually breakable and may not always be there. Now when I was younger it wasn't that deep for me I just liked seeing the part where they went to the giant toy store and saw a bunch of other toys and Buzz battling with himself but I mean so it is. My number two is Ratatouille and that might be controversial to some, but I can explain somewhat. To me, Ratatouille is Pixar's magnum opus. It's the pinnacle of their animation and their storytelling. It perfectly captures the French restaurant life and my view of what I understand to be France. However, it just does not scratch an itch in my head. It's amazing, and it's one of the best movies, not even just animated-wise. But it's just that. It doesn't have that sort of fling to it to me. My number one is Wally, -E, by far. I love it so much that I made my girlfriend get Eve ears and I have the matching Wally -E ears to prove it. They're right here in the video. This movie did something to my adolescent brain that no other movie could do at the time. It was this really quiet, introspective movie with largely no dialogue in the beginning of it that made you care about a silent protagonist all the way up until it made me cry when he was almost killed by Otto. But besides that, the movie is just gorgeous. The scenes in space, the desolate earth, and the axiom brings the whole thing together. I've always been a science fiction nerd, and it's just amazing to me. To me, it's truly one of Pixar's greatest movies. It may not be their best, but for me, it's the greatest.